Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. Welcome to Greenup County High School for this My Town TV presentation of Greenup County Musketeer and Boyd County Lions basketball. I'm Ryan Parker, and I'm happy to be joined tonight by the voice of the Boyd County Lions, Mr. Greg Preston. Well, it's good to be here. This is always a great atmosphere to come down here uh, and call a game or, you know, play a game here at the Greenhouse. Uh, and Greenup County's got a, a really nice team this year as well. Yeah, Greenup County, they've clinched a winning record this year for the first time since 2020. They're 16 and 13 right now, the number one seed going into the 63rd district tournament, which we will have on My Town TV here next week. Greenup County has a big game coming up next week, uh, Wednesday night against Lewis County. Uh, Boyd County, they're fortunate enough to be the number one seed in the 64th district, yes. and it's a three-team district. So the, punch, the ticket is already punched to Moorhead for the Boyd County Lions. Yep, yeah, but, you know, you're going to have to uh, – you're going to have a real good ball game there against either Ashland or Fairview. And, you know, uh, on paper, Ashland wins it, but you've got to go out and play it. And if you, if you do happen to see Boyd County and Ashland in it, uh, for a third time, uh, that's that's going to be something. Oh, no doubt it's going to be something. The, the crowd out there the last time at the Boyd County Ashland game was tremendous. And we have a good crowd gathered in here tonight for the final game of the regular season at the Greenhouse. Greenup County's experienced pretty good support so far this season. And uh, look forward to this game. This is a rematch of a game that occurred back on January the 26th, uh, where Boyd County beat Greenup County 86-51. But Greenup County did uh, stay with Boyd for a while in that yep, game. They did, and, and you know, uh, just watching from the outside, I've seen Greenup County a few times, and I, I think Casey Gammon uh, has uh, has a chance to be a special player. He does. Um, you mm -hmm. know, he's a point guard, and right now he's having to take on a lot of the load as a sophomore. Uh, he's trying to take on more of the scoring load, but you take a look at his numbers out of Boyd County Middle School. He had uh, 14 points, 11 rebounds that game. And, uh, you know, he can shoot the ball, he can distribute, and uh, and obviously he gets in and, and crashes the boards. Yeah, Casey Gaiman has done a good job, and I think he's been kind of baptized by fire this season, being having to take over the point guard duties from the very first part of the season when he had to go up against uh, Blake Reed out here from yes. Mason County at the time. I mean, he's faced some tough competitors on defense, and you're right, it takes a lot of his energy out just to get the ball up the floor a lot of times. Yeah. But uh, he's going to be a good shooter and a good player for the Musketeers for seasons to come. So we'll take a break here on My Town and come right back after this and hear from Greenup County head coach Corey Allison. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. DC 
safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. To know that we impacted him it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastep because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Hey, we're Jim and Joe's Garage, family owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars, do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts and accessories. Stop by and see us sometime here at Jim and Joe's. We're here with Greenup County head coach Corey Allison before the Musketeers head out to face the Boyd County Lions in the season finale here at the Greenhouse right before the games are become very meaningful next week. Greenup County coming in as the 63rd district champion, the number one seed. Boyd County coming in as the 64th district champion, the number one seed. Just the other night, first of all, coach, just talking about the win out at West Carter. We came away with a 60 to 48 win out there that we really had to grind out. It really had a kind of a tournament type feel game. You know, just the half court uh, sets and a lot of things go wrong, but we came out of there with a win. Yeah, um, and against the up and coming um, West Carter team, real gritty. They're young, but they're 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 tough. They're gritty, um, and it's what we needed coming off that loss to um, to Lewis County. Um, yeah, just been up and down. Um, I think we mentioned before, like the roller coaster ride, you know, um, and, and it's been that, uh, and it's been a lot of intervention. Um, heck, with, with myself as well. <laughs> you know, I got to, I, I had to get me some intervention. You know, but uh, but no, we um, um, we're we're very grateful and thankful for the position that we're in right now. We come a long way, and, and trust me, from day one, these boys have been nothing but, you know. Um, you know, you, you, you couldn't ask for nothing more. The effort, and, and they want to be better, you know. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, the time is just, you know, time don't wait for no man, you yeah. know. So yeah. it's like they, they got to either, you know, catch up with what's going on or we're going to get left behind. But we're motivated, we're inspired, and, um, and that's when just trying to keep them, keep them in a good space mentally. Well, just watching the games like I have all season long, you know, we have the talent at different spots. It just... You know, this part will come in one night, this part will go out one night, and then, you know, you got to get all the bulbs flashing on the same night, it seems like. Eli Atkins, it was him on, uh, the, well, the other night out at West Carter, had a tremendous game. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 that, and that's my thing. I'm like, can we get all the band members to play the instruments at yeah, the same that's time? Way you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm like, come on, guys, let's all, let's all beat to the, let's all, you know, groove to the same, beat to the drum, so, yeah. uh, so to speak. But, yeah. um, but that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for us to have this one breakout game where everybody mm -hmm. is just, you know, feeling it. You know, it's either Bryson's feeling it or yeah. Eli's not or Casey's yeah. feeling it or somebody is not. So, yeah. I want to see, you know, all four of these guys have a good game. Um, and it's a good test tonight. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we plan. I like to go up against some ballers. Oh, yeah. And, and, and Boyd County is, is a bunch of ballers. And, and, and you never know what can, you know what can come out of you when you're, when you're pushed to that limit. Yeah, I think it's a good challenge tonight facing Boyd County. Everybody would rank them as number one going into the 16th region tournament this year. They, ought to, they obviously have a break in the, they're in the three-team district. They're the number one seed, so they don't even have to worry about making Moorhead. They're already uh, got their berth to Moorhead clinched already. They'll be playing the 64th district final next Thursday, likely against Ashland. Uh, but the good news for us is we have clinched a winning record now, and it's the last time, well, the last time Greenup had a winning record was in 2020. And uh, the last time before that was in 2017 when they actually went to the region that year. So it's been uh, seven years since they've been to the region. I know that's the goal. So how will this game, you know, tonight against Boyd County, uh, just will it prepare us in any way for what's to come next uh, Wednesday against Lewis County, or is the Lewis County thing just a completely different animal? Well, I don't want to say too much because I know they're watching. <laughs> hey, Coach, how you doing there, Coach Tackett? No, I'm just playing. Uh, but, um, but no, um, this, is, this is preparation. Yeah, um, um, yeah everything, competition. Everything, yeah. Up, everything up until Wednesday is going to be preparation, and I know the same with, you know, with Lewis County. Mm -hmm. and, you know, um, it's kind of a gift and a curse that day that we didn't go 6-0 and in the district, that mm -hmm. we did not 
you know, beat them twice. I mean, it's really hard to beat the team three times. So, yeah, um, yeah this is this is this is all preparation, and this is something for you know for them for their morale going into next week. Yeah, no doubt. And then given the, if we go ahead and beat Lewis County uh, Wednesday night, then uh, this could Boyd County team could be a team that we face out on the big floor at Moorhead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, and these boys are capable. I mean, our first game against Fleming, um, mm -hmm. you know, we had them, you know, and had the last shot, lost by three. Um, probably shouldn't have came down to that, but mm -hmm. you know we gave it away. But you know, but those top teams in that in in in, in that district in that region, I think that mm -hmm. you know we're right there with them. We have we, we have the the personnel now. We just gotta you know match the the savvy. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I look forward to watching it. I look forward to. Uh, I've looked. I've been, it's been a pleasure watching your team play watching you coach all year long. I know you're really well respected within the region. You've done a great job here at Greenup this season. Uh, let's, let's finish it off on a good note out here tonight and put up a good showing against Boyd County. We look forward to that, and uh, you know we'll be seeing you next week. Hey, yeah, and, and I thank you guys. Um, the support means a lot, you know, because sometimes you don't know, you know, yeah. you, know you, 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 need to, you need that encouragement. You guys have been awesome, so I, I really appreciate you. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you out there in a moment. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. The deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in six Kentucky sixth graders are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in six. It's never too early to get your child help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Welcome to Ashland, Kentucky, a place renowned for its local hospitality and a city that's not just growing, but thriving in its local arts. Ashland's live music events bring people from all walks of life together forming a community that celebrates life, love, and the joy of music. What are you waiting for? Come create with us. Ashland is the ideal place for you to unlock your creative potential and explore everything that Appalachia has to offer. Home of the Musketeers is the Boyd County Lions come visiting tonight as the Prohibitive number one team, I would think, in the region. 23 and six record, only one loss this year at Fleming County, 77-72. Tomcats are the five-time <laughs> champs. But you're right, the Tomcats are the five-time champs, but Boyd County has managed to beat them twice so far this year. And as you said, it yeah. very well could be that we see that matchup we're, two more times. We, we've beaten them in two scrimmage games. You're right, all the games so far at, don't at, mean a at, thing. At, nope, after tonight, everybody goes back to zero and zero. And, and, then the, and then the real season begins. I can tell I'm here with the coach tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, Boyd County coming into this game, you know, 23 and 6, coming off a 44 point win over Johnson Central uh, the other night. Uh, eight wins in a row over Greenup County. Their last loss to Greenup County was in 2016 in overtime. So they're the favorite in this game tonight. You know, they beat Greenup County by 20 plus earlier this season. But I think Boyd County just wanted to sharpen the, sharpen the knives tonight, right? Well, you know, you, what you want to do, first of all, is get everyone out of here healthy. And, you know, obviously you'd like to go in on a high note, uh, but you've got, you know, you've got six days left until you play. Uh, but it would be good uh, to be able to give some other kids some minutes tonight and, and keep everybody fresh going into the postseason. And, you know, the same thing for Greenup County. You, you play on Wednesday. 
And, um, you know, Lewis County, uh, a team uh, that beat Greenham County, what, a week or two ago? Sure did. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Greenham County is a very good ball club, and I can guarantee you didn't see the game, but I guarantee you that in that game, Greenham County, everything they did was vanilla. I mean, you, you're yeah. not going to show anything. You know you're going to play them in the first round of the district. Yeah, Greenham County this week, Wednesday night, they're going to face a win or go home game. Boyd County won't face their first win or go home game until down in Moorhead uh, on, uh, well, the following week, uh, the first week of March. Let's go down to PA announcer Matt Maracy for the starting lineups tonight. Lineups are as we expect. It's Spurlock, Hicks, Ellis, Holbrook, and Taylor for Boyd County. Atkins, Atkins, Chanley, Gammon, and Underwood for Greenup. And, you know, you take a look at this Greenup County team. They're extremely athletic. And, you know, the last time uh, these two met, uh, tried to get the ball up and down the floor. We may see that again tonight because you got uh, a set of teams uh, that both of them ha have really good athletes. They do. Greenup County very athletic, and I kind of wondered that tonight. What strategy Corey Allison will employ against Boyd County tonight? Because Boyd County is a tough team to go shot for shot against. But uh, Greenup County tried to do so and did so successfully for a short time during the last meeting. It's Adkins and Ellis in the center circle. Ellis wins the tip. Back to Taylor. He'll set it up. Spurlock on the right side. Over to Holbrook. Holbrook gives it off to Taylor. Back to Spurlock. Way out front. Bradley Adkins draws the tough assignment on Spurlock. Throws up a floater up and in. Nice job, Jacob Spurlock. Greenup County back quick the other way. Chanley with the ball. Casey Gammon drives down the lane. 12-footer, no good. Rebound tipped out of there by Spurlock. Ellis comes up with it. Going to give it to Jacob Spurlock, and he's on the run quickly up the left side to Hicks for three. Good. And Ellis coming in tonight he only needed seven rebounds to get to 1,000 for his career. And this is his 130th consecutive game, a new school record. Wow, what a warrior there Jason Ellis has proven to be for the Boyd County Lions. Eli Atkins out top for Greenup, leaves it to Bryson Chanley. He'll drive to the basket hard, miss that one. And Ellis picks up the rebound. Comes out of there on the run. Gives it on the right side. Spurlock from 25 feet, in and out, almost in. Eli Atkins comes up with the rebound, and he's back the other way for the Musketeers. Adkins out to Cohen Underwood. He'll launch the three from the corner. No good. Bryson Chanley goes up, gets his hands on it. Underwood goes up hard, misses. Rebounds again. Can't get it to go. Ellis comes up with the rebound again. Ahead to Spurlock all the way down the floor. Knocked away by Bradley Atkins, but Red Holbrook retrieves it in the corner. Out to Jacob Spurlock. Don't want to leave him open from there. Write it down. And timeout Greenup County. I don't know if it's a full or a 30, but... 
It's a, just a, a 30. 30. Yeah, we'll stay right here. So Boyd County out to a quick start, Greg. Well, it seems this may be that game that, you know, here we go. We're not going to show anything for to put on film for somebody to, to watch. Thing, and so get it up and down the floor and let's play and see what happens. Yeah, let's play some ball. And uh, Jacob Spurlock's come out with five quick points. Cole Hicks, who had a big night uh, yeah, at Harlan County. Night. Yeah, at Harlan County had 10 three-pointers, yeah. that's all. Yeah, 10 out of 16 from the floor. You know, he, he found a rhythm, mm -hmm. and, and he was able to shoot it well, and he's capable of doing that uh, a lot of the time. And, you know, on the football field, he's a great football player too. He is. Got to see him at wide receiver this year, and yep. he was very impressive there. But Boyd County uh, loaded with three-point shooters, uh, great percentages up and down the lineup. Spurlock, 41. Cole Hicks, 39. Red Holbrook, 40. Even Griffin Taylor, who doesn't take very many, yeah. but when he does, 63% from three. Yes, but at the end of the night, when this game's all said and done, it's going to come down to who makes stops. Here we go. Casey Gammon brings the ball over the timeline for the Musketeers, gives it to Bryson Chanley out front. To Cohen Underwood. Underwood to Eli Atkins. Open three for Atkins. Good. Three. Eli Atkins. Somebody right there lost an assignment on a screen. I don't know if they were supposed to switch or, or, you know, hedge and recover, but either way, he was left wide open. Eli Atkins has been playing really well lately. He's not the guy you want to leave out there wide open. Jacob Spurlock, top of the key. He'll drive. It'll go up. Eli Atkins swats that one away, but picks up the foul. First foul of the ball game. And Jacob Spurlock will go to the line for two shots. 74% foul shooter. He's got two shots on the And, you know, Spur tonight has done a good job not just hitting the three but getting to the rim. Yeah, that's the second drive that he's uh, executed so far in the game. Uh, very talented player. Ten to three. Boyd County out on top. Atkins over to Underwood on the right side. Is it to Chanley. Chanley a very athletic player himself. We see that there. Drives to the rim and puts it in. Bryson, Bryson Chanley. Take the two. Good, That's strong take. Cole Hicks quickly back the other way. Can't celebrate your baskets too long against Boyd County. There's Cohen Underwood out top. Gives it to Eli Atkins. Turns, 10-footer, no good. Rebound to Rhett Holbrook. Gives it to Jacob Spurlock up the right sideline. Spurlock again, as you said, drives to the basket for two. If he starts putting it on the floor and getting to the rim in the postseason, that's going to make us a little bit more dangerous. 14 to 5, Boyd County out to a quick nine point lead. Casey Gammon launches the three. Ellis picks up another rebound. Ahead they go down the floor. Looks like Red Holbrook was gearing up for the slam. He decides to lay it in. 16 to 5 is the score. I think he got himself caught a little too far under the basket. 441 left in a fast paced first quarter. From the greenhouse, Cohen Underwood, good back door cut by Bradley Atkins, but he can't hang on to the pass. It'll be Boyd County ball. Well, you know, score 16-5 right now, but Greenup County is going to have a run here somewhere, and, uh, and it, it'll tighten up. No doubt about it. The Musketeers, very talented team in their own right. Griffin Taylor gives it to Jason Ellis. Out in three-point land, Ellis over to Taylor. He'll try the three from the corner, in and out. Spurlock, I believe Spurlock pushed underneath there. He yep. sure did. Good call. Yeah, I saw that one. Jacob Spurlock fouled on the rebound. So first foul in Boyd County. Each team has one, 16 to 5. The Boyd County, I said the county. Uh, Boyd County's on top. 417 left. Boyd County yet to really apply a full court press. They had some success against Greenup County last game by applying a full court press to create a lot of turnovers. Sped the game up a little bit. And there, there's a turnover. Speaking of a turnover, Cole Hicks just strips the ball from Casey Gammon, gives it to Jason Ellis, out to Red Holbrook, out to Spurlock. Spurlock puts it on the ground again, kicks it out to Red Holbrook, thought about it, and then lost that one yeah. out of bounds. Had a good look, tried to get a great look out of it, and just lost the handles on it. Good to see, though, if you're a Boyd County fan, see him being aggressive tonight, getting to the rim. Yeah, Boyd County doing a lot of that early and not just settling for the 25-foot uh, threes. Here comes Casey Gammon on the dribble. Musketeers down 11 early. Eli Atkins with the basketball on the right side. Gives it to Bradley Atkins. 
Bradley Atkins tries to turn the corner. Spin move, but he walked trying to get to the rim. And, you know, here's the thing. Boyd County right now switching uh, on, on screens and everything on defense. Now down to Fleming County, they kind of used that against us, and they get the matchup they wanted. Yes. And, and yes. so, you know, uh, we'll see if that happens here tonight. Red Holbrook kicks it over to Griffin Taylor, drives the baseline. Good dish to Jason Ellis for two. Four of the five Boyd County starters now in the scoring column. As you said, the one who's not in the scoring column is the facilitator, Griffin Taylor. Another walk by Eli Adkins. I'll tell you what, you watch Coach Allison down here in, in, in pregame too. He brings a lot of excitement and positive, uh, positive uh, you know, talk with his team. I, I like the way he does. I do too. He, he's been a joy to interview all season long. Uh, a really well-spoken guy, and uh, he's done a great job with the Musketeers. Griffin Taylor pulls up from 10 feet. Good. Now that gets all five in the column. Two for Taylor. Felt left out. 20 to five is our <laughs> score. 256 and counting. Cohen Underwood over on the right side of Bradley Atkins. Had Casey Gammon flash open for a second. Just a little late delivering the ball. Gammon tries a little seven-foot turnaround. Misses. Battle for it. Jason Ellis comes up with another rebound. How many is that, Greg? You keeping track of this two, tonight? Yeah, two away from tying it. Three away from – or no, two, or one away from tying it. Two away from breaking it. Or getting there. Yeah. Not breaking anything, but getting to 1,000. Yeah, what an accomplishment by Jason yeah, Ellis. And you and take uh, a look at it. I, I gave the other day, I gave Coach Phil Pratt a, uh, a text. He's at 1,367 rebounds in a career, and that was before you had middle school players. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that one's not going to be broken. Spurlock, a tough shot from the baseline. Uh, hits the side of the backboard on that one. Out of bounds. It'll be Greenup's ball. Out of bounds, ball. That was an NBA-level difficulty yeah, shot there. The spin around and fall away. <laughs> and falling out of bounds. Yeah. And we got a foul on the ground underneath here. I think that's hey, going to go against Spurlock. That would be his second foul if it is. It, it is, is against Jacob Spurlock. He'll go to the bench probably early here. Yeah, let's see if Coach A goes down. Here comes Alex Martin. He'll go in for Spur. See if Spur sets the rest of the half. I don't know that he will. You know, you just trying to get a little rhythm here going into the postseason. Greenup County throws it in bounds. Eli Atkins, Rhett Holbrook's hustling all the way, one way and the other, following Eli Atkins around. But Greenup retains possession. Bryson Chanley, good crossover, fall away himself, and a pretty sweet shot from Bryson Chanley. That's a tough shot. He had Ellis in his face. Yeah, a really tough shot by Bryson Chanley, but good execution there. Uh, Greenup County down 13 now. Griffin Taylor sets up the Boyd County offense, goes on the left side to Cole Hicks. Hicks puts it on the ground, goes to the basket. Good dish to Martin. Who's now in the scoring, scoring column himself? Always a plus when you get guys off the bench that can score the basketball. Yeah, Alex Martin, I remember last year, had a good 16th region tournament yes, down he there. Did. Eli Atkins in the paint, uh, turns around, and going to get a foul this time. I believe it's going to be on Red Holbrook for just standing there <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the wrong place. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. Atkins, though, doing a good job of trying to get to the bucket there. He's going to go to the line and shoot two. Eli Atkins, a 78% foul shooter, the best on this. Well, no, Casey Gammon's 81%. Sorry, the second best on this Greenup team. Yeah, that's all I had to do. I just need to shut up over here about good free throw shooters. Drew Smith in for Red Holbrook here. Drew Smith uh, missed the game against Johnson Central the other night with illness. So uh, that's... Made its way through the Boyd County basketball team uh, here in the last couple of weeks. Eli Atkins hits his second free throw. 22-8, Boyd County on top. Looking sharp so far. As Griffin Taylor will set up the offense against a 2-3 zone, it looks like Greenup's going to deploy right now. Jason Ellis out top. To Cole Hicks and over to uh, Drew Smith. Out to Hicks. Hicks left side to Griffin Taylor. Taylor finds Smith in the corner. He did move well from one side of the court to the other one to get open there. Chanley rebounds, gets it out to Eli Atkins, soars through the air, lays it in. That was smooth. He's quite an athlete, Eli Atkins. He can make some really dynamic plays at times. Cole Hicks gets called for the travel. Greenup County's ball, 22-10, our score. Casey Gammon talking to Coach Allison. 
Getting the play call, and here he comes across the timeline. Set things up for the Musketeers. Being guarded by Griffin Taylor. Underwood in the right corner. Puts it on the ground. Back out top to Casey Gammon. Over to Cohen Underwood in the right corner again. Looking, gets to Eli Atkins, 15-footer. Got hit on that one, maybe. In and out, no good. Rebound uh, knocked out of bounds. We'll see which way it goes. It's going to go to Greenup. Yes, say it was off Alex Martin. Both teams really battling here in the first quarter. Sure are. Greenup's decided to come out and play toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I believe, or <laughs> try to at least with Boyd County again here in round number two between these two teams this season. Who knows? We, we may see round number three down at Moorhead between these teams. Bryson Chanley for three out top. Good. Bryson Chanley. Good news for Greenup is the two main players on the team, Eli Atkins and Bryson Chanley, they, they seem to have showed up tonight. And Greenup County kind of making that run now too. You did say that would happen. Oh, nice pass that time in the corner to Drew Smith from Griffin Taylor right at the buzzer. Pretty play all the way around. Drew Smith for three. That makes the score after one quarter of play here from the greenhouse. Boyd County 25, Greenup County 13. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. back here at Greenup County High School where the Boyd County Lions lead the Greenup County Musketeers 25-13. After one quarter of play, it'll be Greenup County's basketball to start the second, Greg. And you know, Greenup County making that run, getting back into the ball game here. They got the basketball and, and you know, you've done all this with Greenup County. Only two guys have scored and you know, Casey Gammon's yet to get on track. You're right. Casey Gammon with the basketball now out front. Red Holbrook seems to be picking him up out there. Kind of a a zone soft, here. I was going to say soft defense <laughs> right now. Yeah. Chanley on the left side. He'll try a long three. No good. Rebound tipped around, and uh, Griffin Taylor comes out of there with it on the run. Ahead to Rhett Holbrook. Holbrook has an open lane. Goes up strong, and he'll be fouled. Good strong take there. And I'll tell you what, Chanley went flying in there and contested it. A good job by Chanley as well. And, you know, this has been Boyd County's bugaboo this season has been free throws. You know, 64% from the line. Well, you called it right there. Uh, score remains 25-13. Ethan Gibson checks into the game for Greenup County. Gibson had a nice night when uh, he played out at Boyd County. He's a shooter. Red Holbrook drops the second free throw in. 26-13, uh, Boyd County has doubled up Greenup so far here. 7.25 left in the second quarter. Eli Atkins on the right side to Cohen Underwood over to Gammon. He'll try the 22-footer. Good. Casey Gammon. Casey Gammon is now on the board. And, you know, Boyd County in that 1-2-2-3-2, two, 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 however you want to look at it, and gave him space. Holbrook out top to, uh, oh, blocked away by Chanley. Chanley on the run, out of there with it. Goes, oh, he gets, <laughs> he gets hammered and down. It and intentional. it is an intentional foul. That was a play Chanley on the ball. Got to make sure he's okay. It was a play on the ball. Just a really, really hard foul. So the foul will go against number 15, Alex Martin. Just a personal foul. But it will be called an intentional foul. So Greenup will have two shots and the ball. Chanley will go to the line for the two shots. Chanley's dropped in uh, seven points so far tonight. He's at the line as a 70% foul shooter. He puts the first one in. 
And here comes that run. They've got it down to single digits now. Yeah, Greenup County hanging around in the game. Hanging around. Alex Martin questioning you know, why that was intentional. <laughs> it was just a really hard foul, it like you said. It was a hard foul. I don't no think question. it was no ill intent really involved in the foul. No. Other than he was making sure he was not going to get yep. the basket. <laughs> yep. He didn't like getting his shot block, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's one of our baseball players, too. He signed to go play at Xavier next year. Yeah, very talented baseball team Boy County just, has this year. Looking forward to covering that on my town. Just a really good athlete is Alex Martin. Gibson will inbound the ball for the Musketeers, get it into Gammon in the corner. Casey Gammon out top to Eli Atkins. He'll rise for the three immediately, misses that one. Rebound down to Griffin Taylor. He's out of there on the run with it. We're going to take it to the left side, out front to Holbrook. They'll reset. Drew Smith, he finds himself open. He likes to pull the trigger, and, man, he was ready to shoot that ball as he drops it home. You know, a couple Three shots here by Eli Atkins. He gets so high up, his trajectory is kind of flat. It is. He kind of gets up even with the rim when he shoots it. Yeah, Casey Gaiman drives that one to the basket. He's in trouble down there. He gets it off to Underwood to Chanley. Chanley with Ellis guarding him. Way out front, Chanley will give it back to Casey Gaiman. They got it switched up there, but he picked up his dribble. Cohen Underwood's wide open on the left side for three, and he misses everything. Jason Ellis with another rebound. Ellis gets it up to Martin on the left side. Thought about the three. Now he'll just drive the baseline, go up strong, get it blocked again. Underwood rebounds. It's Bryson Chanley. He's, he's, he's quite a shot blocker, there's no question. Casey Gaiman takes it coast to coast Charge. and charges over Red Holbrook. And Red Holbrook, I'll tell you what, he's made a living on drawing charges this year. That's the 20th one he's drawn. Wow, 20 charges for a season. Yeah. He doesn't mind standing in the way of uh, anything, I nope, guess. No, he gets in the way. <laughs> well, he's a football player. Yep. <laughs> Here comes Hicks now running the point for Boyd County. As Griffin Taylor's checked out of the game for now. Uh, Drew Smith on the right side, out front to Martin. Left side to Hicks. Greenup County in their zone right now. Hicks cross-court pass to Martin. Martin, a good three-point shooter in his own right, but he'll go ahead and drive in and take a 10-footer for a, for a basket. Good job of getting inside again. 31-18 is our score. Boyd County on top by 13. Chanley Underwood looking for some help. to throw it over top. Tough to do with Jason yep. Ellis in there. And he had Smith on the backside there as well. Good dish inside to Chanley. Chanley goes up, gets his shot blocked, but he gets fouled. That'll be a foul on Red Holbrook. As That's a, his second. So Holbrook with the foul. Chanley will go to the line for two shots. So now you got Holbrook and Spurlock with two fouls each for Boyd County. Spurlock, I believe I saw at the table, ready to check back into the game. Okay, is he down there? Yep, he is. Chanley's first free throw is good. He'll replace Martin, so you're going to leave Holbrook on the floor. So you got two guys with two fouls. Let's see if Grant County tries to exploit that. That's a good point, Greg. Uh, you definitely would want one of those guys with three fouls. It would be very advantageous to the Musketeers. Now you still got five minutes of change left go before halftime. Chanley's second free throw is good. 31-20 is our score. Is that my buddy Steve Logan I see across the way over there? I believe it is. He's here at a lot of the Musketeer games. Spurlock open for three. Good. Three Wrong guy to leave open out there, 34 to 20. He's in double figures now with 12. Eli Hadkins top of the key, right side to Casey Gammon. Gammon gives it to Chanley out top. Spurlock guarding him. Now, you may want to take him off the dribble here, but no, Bryson Chanley will just rise up and hit the three right back at him. He's playing really well tonight. He's got 14. Yeah, Bryson Chanley, he's a guy that, you know, I, I, we talked in the pregame interview with Coach Allison, waiting for Eli Adkins and Bryson Chanley to show up on the same night because it hasn't been that way all season long for Greenup County. Bryson Chanley came out and scored 18 points in the first half against yeah. Russell, uh, and then sometimes – the whole game, he'll have two points. Well, those guys <laughs> so, have 20 of the 23 they've got now, so they've showed up. They have showed up tonight. This is the first time I've seen both of them look like they've showed up in the game, yes. Drew Smith over to Red Holbrook, open three, good. And Boyd County likes the backdrop here in the Greenup County gym. <laughs> well, they're used to playing in a big backdrop out at Boyd yeah, County uh, yeah. Middle School as well, 30-second timeout. Yeah, 30-second timeout for Boyd County this time. 37-23 is our score. Thank you once again to our 
And you know, I've mentioned it before. I, you know, you look at Boyd County Middle School Gymnasium here at the Greenhouse. I mean, those will be two great atmospheres for a regional tournament. It sure would. I mean, it really would. I, and you love Moorhead because, you know, and it's going to stay there. You've got the 94-foot floor. But you talk about a, a fan-friendly atmosphere in these two gyms that hold a lot of people. Yeah, it would be a packed house in here. And like you said, the end zones even here, uh, they would be full. If you had a host of the region here. And look forward to two great atmospheres in the yeah. two places next week. Fortunately, Boyd County gets to host the district there uh, next week, and Greenup County gets to host the 63rd here, and it'll be a jam-packed uh, house yeah, for and, that. Yeah, and you've got a really good crowd here tonight as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a good crowd here supporting uh, both sides here tonight, Greenup County and Boyd County. Well, it looks like Boyd County for the first time tonight going to pick up in a half-court 2-2-1. Two, two, here we go. Let's see if Greenup County handles this better than they did the first meeting between these teams. Casey Gammon throws it up the floor. Eli Atkins, good thing he's a high jump champion there. He saved that one. Ethan Gibson for three, no good. Rebound to Red Holbrook. Good job by Holbrook getting rid of the ball before he went to the ground. Oh, Casey That's Gammon got Taylor. his hand on it. It did go off yep. Taylor. That's and a good call. Yeah, Green County's ball. You know, right here you, you got a chance either way. Greenup County, you know, a chance to cut it down to 12, maybe 11, uh, but it could go the other way as well if if Boyd County can get a few stops. Yeah, Greenup County definitely would uh, like to get this one, you know, to, to single digits before the half. Into Chanley, he lays it up and in. It crawled in. I don't think he's going to miss again tonight. Well, he's come to play tonight. There's no question about that. Good showing from Bryson Chanley so far. Good job by Griffin Taylor on the other end. Taylor. 39-25. Eli Atkins thought about pulling up there, thought better of it at the last second. Gives it to Gavin Harrington in the game, his first appearance. Ethan Gibson on the right side. He's trapped over there. Gives it to Chanley. No better place to go to. Chanley goes up Offensive strong, foul. and they call the elbow, I believe, yep, on he, Bryce he and Chanley. Caught, he caught Griffin in the, uh, in the chin with the elbow, and that's two on Chanley. You know, Chanley, he's a foul-prone player a lot of times. He finds himself in foul trouble. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> nothing a lot malicious of games. there either, just turn, no. trying to get some space. Yeah. So, Boyd County, as you said, this could go either way right now. 39-25, 14-point advantage. Griffin Taylor will drive the lane. He stutter steps, to pitch, pitches it off to Cole Hicks, though. Good job by Griffin Taylor on the assist. 41-25. Greenup County needs a bucket here. Wood County's gone back to that man-to-man. -man. And they pitch that one away. Bryson Chanley trying to hit Ethan Gibson with it, throws it over his head. That's a good idea. If it's soft pass, he's probably got it in two. Again, I'm surprised they haven't just lined up and taken it right at Jacob Spurlock or Red Holbrook here, try to get that third foul yes. on one of them yes. so far. Cole Hicks on the right side uh, finds Spurlock out there. He's not shy about shooting it, and for a good reason. My goodness, he puts another one in. 44-25. Gammon brings the ball down the floor for the Musketeers. Down 19 now. Chanley posting up. Finds Harrington cutting through the lane. Lays it up and in. Good job by Gavin Harrington. Tell you what, a great job getting rid of the ball with the double team. Taylor brings the ball up the floor to Holbrook to Hicks in the corner. Hicks has both Chanley and Adkins looking at him right now. Gets it over to Holbrook. Back to Cole Hicks. Hicks drives. Kicks it out to Spurlock from the corner. Good. He's got three threes here in the quarter. I get the feeling Jacob Spurlock has practiced that shot a lot in his Just life. Just a little bit. <laughs> He's a gym rat. Mighty fine shooter, Jacob Spurlock. Bryson Chanley. In trouble with it this time, but got to watch it. You, Spurlock's got to be careful. He's going to pick up a foul there, but uh, Greenup County turns it over. Here's Hicks out front. Eli Atkins goes up high, and they're going to call uh, the goaltending. That hadn't hit. The, uh, that had not hit the glass yet. It was. It was awfully close. Yeah, it looked. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> I. I mean, that looked like a pretty good, pretty yeah. clean block from here. Yeah, 22 point lead now for the Lions. Casey Gammon bringing it down the floor. Minute 30 left here in the first half. Now you got two guys checking in, I'm sure, for Holbrook and Spurlock to keep them out of three fouls. They tried to flop there. Didn't get the call from the referee. Nice try. Bryson Chanley takes the layup. The lead is 20. Here comes Griffin Taylor. He'll take the 15-footer. Good. Taylor almost at his average here in the first half. 
Griffin Taylor, yes, his average is seven. He's at six. Here we go, Eli Atkins with the basketball for the Musketeers, drives the paint, goes up strong, uh, almost got the, yeah, these guys got to watch well, it. Spurgis like I said, they, they got to watch it down there, <laughs> as I said. Yeah, just Spurlock picked up, picked up his third, third with 59.9 seconds left to go in the half. Not the ideal situation, I wouldn't think, there for the line. Like you said, they had some subs here at the bench or at the scorer's table. Yep. <laughs> Probably just getting ready to take them out. And yep, and that's who's coming out. You see Holbrook and Spur coming out. Yeah, that's one play too, too late there. Bradley Adkins and uh, Underwood back in for Greenup County. Harrington goes out along with Eli Adkins. Gibson inbounds the ball to Bradley Adkins, fresh into the game, puts it in for his first two of the night. Here we go. Uh, Smith with the ball, gives it to Hicks, and he'll be fouled by Bradley Atkins, I think. Yep, Bradley Atkins called for the foul. And, you know, we, and this is just to me, and it's not a knock, but, you know, the physical play, there's no call, but the, the touches is where it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> just got to adjust as you see it yes, called. Yes, you do. Here we go. Martin, what a powerful player underneath there. Goes up, misses the shot, though. Gibson rebounds. They'll head to Underwood. Boy County's hit eight threes so far tonight, Greg. Uh, that's a good performance. Oh, another turnover for the Musketeers. That is an average night for Boyd, I guess. Well, <laughs> right. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, they're quite a shooting team. It's fun to watch. There's no question about it. Griffin Taylor with the basketball, top of the key. Boyd County, uh, gonna, will they slow things down here? 25 seconds left and look for one at this point. Uh, looks like they're being very patient. They may just be going for one shot. Yep, uh, looks like that's what they're going to try to do here. Greenham County, Bradley Atkins really out there on Taylor. Taylor to Smith. Smith looking inside to Ellis. Good pass oh, nice. from Jason Ellis. How about that? To Cole Hicks for the basket. 53-31. Oh, Woo! my. We almost saw us a highlight play right there to end the half. But the half is over with Boyd County on top. 53-31. We'll be right back to give you the stats and to get you ready for the second half here on My Town TV. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Wearing a seatbelt protects a driver in the event of a collision. And driving distraction-free protects everyone. Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important, and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramey specifically because Ramey just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramey is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call, and I can call him, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Hey, we're Jim and Joe's Garage, family owned and operated for three generations. We sell cars, do body work and repair. We've got a full service mechanic for when your check engine light comes on. And we have all kinds of great parts. We're back here at Greenup County High School. It's halftime. The Boyd County Lions looking to go into the postseason with a steam train of momentum as they lead this one 53 to 31 over the Greenup County Musketeers. You know, it's a 22-point margin, but uh, it's been an enter entertaining game up and down the floor. Both teams making some good plays, some good athletic players on both sides of the floor. 
But, uh, Greg, you want to go over the stats for the first half for yep. Boyd County and Greenup? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Boyd County, uh, the visiting team, uh, 53 points here at the half. They've uh, scored 25 points in the uh, first quarter and 28 in the second to total that 53. They're led in scoring by Jacob Spurlock with 18, who has three fouls, though, I might add. Uh, Cole Hicks also in double figures with 11. Then you have six apiece uh, from Griffin Taylor, Red Holbrook, uh, Drew Smith, four from Alex Martin, and two from Jason Ellis. Jason Ellis also six rebounds. His next rebound will give him a thousand for his career, uh, and what a uh, what a career that has been to say the least. And uh, you know, like we said, 130 straight games tonight uh, broke uh, Coach Anderson's son Bobby's record of, of consecutive games. So he's he's just been a warrior uh, throughout his career. Cause he's played he's played a lot hurt. Yeah, Jason Ellis, uh, like you said, I mean, I, I've, I've been impressed with him for many years being a fan. It's my first yep. year getting to do the games on my town. But just seeing him play with, uh, you know, he's played with a couple different uh, eras of Boyd County players, yeah, hasn't he? He, he really <laughs> has. Um, and Greenup's County scoring, uh, they had 13 at the end of one. They scored 18 in the second uh, for their total of 31 here. They're letting scoring uh, by uh, Bryson Chanley, who has 18 points. Next in line is Eli Atkins with six. Then you have uh, Bradley Atkins with four, three from Casey Gammon, and two from Gavin Harrington. But uh, we've, we've had a, an entertaining first half, uh, to say the least. And, and, you know, I think at this point, either way, both teams are saying, all right, let's get through this and get to the postseason. You're right. Uh, like you pointed out early on in this uh, broadcast, the main thing is both teams get there healthy yes. next week, have everybody healthy going into the games that start to really matter next week. Yep, yeah, and, and, you know, you want to come out and you want to play hard and you want to compete and you want to keep that, uh, but you do. You want to stay healthy uh, mainly. So we'll be right back. We're about five minutes to go from the starting the second half here. We'll take another couple-minute break and be right back here on My Town TV. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. Welcome to Ashland, Kentucky, a place renowned for its local hospitality and a city that's not just growing, but thriving in its local arts. Ashland's live music events bring people from all walks of life together forming a community that celebrates life, love, and the joy of music. What are you waiting for? Come create with us. Ashland is the ideal place for you to unlock your creative potential and explore everything that Appalachia has to offer. We are back here at halftime, Greenup County High School. The Musketeers trail this one 53-31 at the half, Greenup County you know, has had a good season this year, Greg. They've clinched a winning record for the first time since 2020. Ironically, the last time they had a winning record, though, they went into the postseason and lost to Lewis County in the first round of the district, and they got yeah. them again coming up this week. Well, but, and, you know, uh, I think um, that Greenup County right now has – has a different kind of ball team than, than back then, too. They do. Um, you know, uh, Greenham County ha has a very, very good ball team. 
I know you look at the score, it's a 20, but yeah, they really, really do. Uh, you haven't got all your weapons going here in the, in the first half, but Brigham County is going to be in at, a, in at the end of the mix. I believe so as well, and Boyd County, on the other hand, uh, look forward next week to a probable matchup again with Ashland. You know, like you said, for the third time, presumably, again, not discounting Fairview yep. in this whole mix, but uh, Boyd County will play the winner of that game on the next Thursday. Yep, and you know, you take a look at the Ashland-Fairview matchup. Uh, the first time, it's just a 13-point ball game. It was. And and if I know how Ryan Bonner is, he's not going to let his kids come in and be disinterested. Yes, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Yeah, because Fairview does have a couple players in yes. Tamel Smith and Stephen Day who can uh, really fill it up uh, for, from three-point range, and that's the yeah. that helps get the formula going for an upset in and, the postseason. And, you can, yeah, and they can score bunches in, in a short amount of time. So we'll take one more break here, about a one-minute break, Grant, if we can, to, uh, then come right back for the second half. We're about a minute from tip-off, or not tip-off, <laughs> the second half starting here on My Town TV. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We're back here at Greenup County High School. 30 seconds from getting the second half underway. Boyd County leads at 53-31. And, you know, here, here at some point you may see, you know, coming into the fourth quarter, get your starters out and and, uh, and get ready for postseason here. But, you know, the, on the flip side of that, you, you're going to look and see, is Coach Allison going to come out? Is he going to try to do some pressing here to get this game going up and down and maybe defensively find something that you need going into the postseason? Yeah, that's a very good point because uh, the, the 63rd district uh, traditionally and uh, next week even, I could predict for you, it'll be a grinded out yeah, game in the half court fashion. It's going to be about stops at 63rd <laughs> it is. to say the least. <laughs> it is, and uh, we know Boyd County likes to run up and down the floor. And, and uh, from what I saw, I've watched the two Ashland games this year so far, uh, you know, Ashland puts up quite a fight against Boyd County in both those games. Well, Ashland's five-time champs. Yeah, so. <laughs> like you said, like you, you got to be, beat the man to be the man, yep. right? And, and, you know, you get down there, more heads, you've got a little bit more space, yeah. and, uh, and your possessions really matter. Yeah. Here we go. Rat Holbrook going to inbound the ball for Boyd County. Gets it into Griffin Taylor, and we're underway to start the third quarter. Boyd County with a 22-point lead. Getting things underway. Griffin Taylor goes to the right corner to Cole Hicks. Hicks out to Holbrook. Holbrook, nice pass from Red Holbrook right down to Griffin Taylor. That was some kind of vision there, Greg. You know, when Boyd County is good, they're sharing the ball, and they're doing that tonight. Casey Gammon brings it down, gives it to Chanley. Chanley drives the paint, loses control of that one. Not sure what we saw there. A Okay. Well, he called uh, Underwood with the foul, and Under Underwood took a shot, shot to the, the mouth. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly what happened. He caught him with the tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Personal foul on Cole or Cohen Underwood. It may be in someone's arm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here we go. Uh, Taylor gives it to Holbrook. Holbrook over to Spurlock, who launches it immediately, draws the foul from Bradley Atkins. Well. I did not see that shot coming. It came out of nowhere. What you, what I did <laughs> see right there was Greenham County coming out and trying to be a lot more physical with Spurlock on that. Uh, but, you know, he's going to get three free throws out of it. Yeah, he just launched that one as, as quickly as you can launch a shot out there. Puts the first free throw in. Well, with as many ways as he's been guarded this year by different opponents, you learn how 
uh, how to get shots off. And I'll tell you what, if he's got any space, he's got a chance to make it. That's his second one in. He's a 74% foul shooter on the season. So looking good from there as well. Really impressed with his percentages across the board this season, especially with as much attention as has to be paid to him during games. He's now got 21 on the night. 58-31, it's a 27-point lead now. Eli Atkins gets it to Cohen Underwood. Underwood finds Bradley Atkins down there, guarded by Spurlock. Bradley Atkins does a nice job. Now you may see them try to exploit those three fouls. No doubt, you, you know he can't be too aggressive down there if he wants to hang around in the game. Griffin Taylor, good dish to Jason Ellis. Ellis kicks it out to Hicks. Passes up the three that time, throws it off the window, no good. Rebound to Cohen Underwood. Gets it to Casey Gammon, and here come the Musketeers over the timeline. Gammon gets it down to Chanley on the block, working on Holbrook, who has... Well, oh, nice dish from Chanley to Underwood. <laughs> Great job of giving the ball up. Freedom County's doing a good job of hitting, when the double team comes, finding the open guy. Yeah, we've seen Chanley do that a couple times there. Chanley having a really good game. Here's Red Holbrook for the Lions. Gives it to Griffin... Taylor over to Cole Hicks to Spurlock in the corner. They're going to call Ellis Jason with Ellis screen. with the foul there, trying to get Spurlock open. Did get him open. He did, did hit the shot, but Jason Ellis called for the foul. Don't forget Ellis's next rebound will be his 1,000th yep. rebound. 6-10 left here in the third quarter. Casey Gammon brings it up the floor for the Musketeers on the right side. Gammon. Dangerous pass out front to Eli Atkins. Gets it over to Underwood on the right side. Underwood looking for Chanley in there. Trying to post up. Gammon ends up with it on the right side. Puts the ball on the ground. Ball away jumper from 15 feet. No good. Rebound to Holbrook. He's out of there on the run. Holbrook to Spurlock ready to shoot. No good this time. Rebound to Underwood. Well, on his knee, he comes up with it. Gives it to Casey Gammon. Gammon runs it down the floor to Bradley Atkins, goes up strong and lays it in. Good job by Bradley Atkins. He's got four of the six Greenup County points here in the third. Greenup County got the lead down to 21 again now, 58-37. Chanley going for the steal out front, winds up in the hands of Griffin Taylor. Taylor, good fall away jumper with Chanley's hand right in his face. They got a 30-second timeout, Randy Anderson here. County, you know, tonight uh, Griffin Taylor's done a good job of playing with that mid-range game. Yeah, he seems to be a very effective mid-range player. And like I said, his percentages, uh, other than free throws, of course, you talked about free throws yep. being the bugaboo of Boyd County this year, but his percentages are phenomenal. They are, and, you know, he, he's kind of that old school player, the son of Brad Taylor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he's a heady player, and, and he's learned to play that mid-range game. So Greenup County down 23 with the basketball here. 5'11 left in the third quarter from the greenhouse. Packed house tonight celebrating the national champion cheerleaders who came back from Florida winning the national championship. Once again, hang another banner in the rafters here for cheerleading, Greg. Well, there's no room in the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> they filled up the uh, right end zone here. Boy, Caddy back in that zone. Gammon fires that one uh, turnover there. Couldn't hit Eli Atkins. The Boyd County's ball. Turnover ball is to Here we go. Griffin Taylor with the basketball for the Lions. Walking it over half court. Gets it to Cole Hicks. Pump fakes. Step back. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Eli Atkins couldn't hang on to it. It'll be Boyd County's ball. Out of bounds off. See what the Lions try to run here. Uh, see if they can get an easy bucket. They're going to go and go four low here. Nope, they're going to go back to something else here. Nope, they are. Just switching guys from side to side. Hicks gets it out to Ellis to Taylor at the top of the key. Looking for Spurlock coming around the screen from Ellis. Spurlock gets the ball and drops it in. What a player. He knows what to do when he gets it. 63-37, Chanley gets it down to Underwood. They forgot about defense that time, but Red Holbrook remembered it at the last second and swatted that ball away. They get ahead to Cole Hicks for three. No good. Rebound down to Spurlock. Oh, good nice pass kill. out of the air. 
And kind of a just a, a wrap-up foul there, a bear hug yep. from Cohen Underwood. He picks up the foul, and Red Holbrook will go to the line for two shots. Boyd County fans hollering intentional on that. <laughs> Yeah, the, the one we saw in the first half from Alex Martin was a hard foul, not intentional. <laughs> we didn't think yeah. it was intentional, but it was intentional. They called it intentional. Here we go, Boyd County with the ball. Uh, that foul was kind of a soft foul, but it was kind of more intentional. Uh, Spurlock puts that one in as well. As he continues to rack up his totals tonight. 26 for the ninth. Shanley from the foul stripe, no good this time. Rebound down to Spurlock. He's out of there on the run with it. I think that's the first time he's missed all night, isn't it? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, Bryson Chanley's been awfully hot tonight. Eli Adkins knocks the ball out of bounds. It'll remain with Boyd County. 3.56 left here in the third. 65 to 37. Lions on top. Well, the pace has been in Boyd County's favor, no question there. And so they've been able to put up some points. And they can put up points. Griffin Taylor left side to Hicks. Good dump down to Ellis. Goes up strong. Chanley tried to challenge him. He'll pick up the foul this time and send Ellis to the line. Tell you what, Chanley a different kid uh, from the last time they played. Uh, really doing a good job of contesting everything and scoring a basketball. He's doing it on both ends. Yeah, Greenwood hopes that uh, Bryson Chanley can remember this version of himself come well, next Wednesday. <laughs> if, he do, if he does, he's going to be a handful. Ellis uh, missed the first free throw. We'll try another. Ellis, 52% from the stripe this year, misses that one. Harrington rebounds. Gets it to Bradley Atkins ahead. Again, Boyd County just going for the shot blocking uh, now. It's going to turn into a little wide ball game, well, it feels you, like. <laughs> you've got to learn your habits here. You've got to get back on defense. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the stuff that will hurt you at the end of the year. You know, those type of things can cost you eventually against the – in a competitive game, you're right. If you develop those habits, you want to develop good habits now. Casey Gammon tries the 22-footer. It's good. That's the Three. second one he's tried, second one he's made. 65-40. Drive by Hicks out to Holbrook to Hicks. Hicks back to Holbrook for three. No good this time. Rebound to Eli Adkins. Eli Adkins on the dribble. Going back and forth, pulls up, 15-footer, no good. Tipped out by Harrington. Good hustle by Adkins going into the stands over there. Bradley Atkins only knows one way to play, and that's hard. It is. Bradley Atkins, very good athlete, good catcher for the Greenup County uh, yep. baseball team. He is. Glad to see Carson Wireman graduate, though. <laughs> no doubt about that, I'm sure, being a Boyd County guy. Carson Wireman was the... Oh, my goodness, Jacob Spurlock putting on a uh, Steph Curry-like three-point clinic for us here tonight, 68-40, to 40, showing us how to make three-pointers. Bryson Chanley gets it down to Harrington on the baseline, tries a little dipsy-doo underneath the basket, can't get it. Spurlock wouldn't be surprised. I was going to say wouldn't be surprised just to see him pull up from the volleyball line and put it in, and he does. By my count, that no gives problem. him 32. <laughs> my goodness, 71-40. to 40. Jacob Spurlock putting on a show for us. Timeout. Coach Corey timeout. Allison wants a full timeout this time. So we'll take a break. 2.26 to go here on My Town full TV. Time. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606 324 7181 to schedule an appointment. For those on the go, the Smoothie Connoisseur, the break room favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track, make life easier, and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. We're back here at Greenup County High School where Jacob Spurlock and the Boyd County Lions are putting on a shooting clinic for us. 71 to 40, Boyd County on top of Greenup. 11 threes right now, uh, at least by my count. I may have missed something here, but 11 threes for Boyd County in the ball game. And, uh, you know, but uh, here the last couple trips down for Greenup County, Boyd County's uh, kind of uh, gotten a little lax on the defensive end. 
Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and you, know, you can do that. And like you said, you don't want to develop any bad habits going into the tournaments, all the games that really matter and count next week. Greenup County with the basketball. Casey Gammon gets it over to Gibson on the left side to Gammon to Eli Atkins. Gammon to Gibson. Gibson a little behind the back pass to Chanley. Gets it over to Atkins to so the other Atkins. Eli Atkins from 17 feet. No good. Rebound to Spurlock. Spurlock going to dish this one, this one ahead to Griffin Taylor to Holbrook for three. No good. And Gammon rebounds. Here comes Casey Gammon for the Musketeers. A little behind the back dribble, step back, gives it to Ethan Gibson to Eli Adkins on the block, working on Ellis. Eli Adkins goes up and puts it in. His, his first two since the first quarter, Greg. And, you know, in that zone, they're finding the soft spot in the, in the short corner there, and, and they're getting some good looks out of it. Griffin Taylor out top, left side to Cole Hicks. Alex Martin and Drew Smith getting ready to check back into the game for Boyd County. Jason Ellis misses that layup. Chanley rebounds ahead to Gammon. Gammon to Bradley Atkins. Atkins goes up strong, lays it in. He's good at that. Yep, got to get back on defense. 71-44. Here's Taylor out to Holbrook. Holbrook drives. Good dish to Ellis. He doesn't miss this one. Puts it in for his fourth point of the night. Greenup County, Atkins for three. Good. Three for Eli Atkins. At times when Greenup responds, I feel like I'm watching an NBA All-Star game here, Greg. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Spurlock goes up hard and goes down hard after he went up aggressively for the rebound. Uh, one thing you don't want to see. Yeah, like you said, you want to keep everybody healthy here tonight. You know, he knew his shot was off from the beginning, went in to get the rebound, and I'm assuming he's the guy that got fouled. I would say so. Bryson Chanley, I believe, on the foul. Spurlock. I believe he's got up holding his tailbone more than anything. I was afraid he hit his head yep. there well, for first. Well, he's coming out. Martin's in. Taylor's coming out. Smith is in. Probably not a bad idea here. No. You know, like you say, you want to keep everybody healthy yep. for the tournament. This game's 73-47. 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. Underwood set to check. Well, no, they're going to give him two free throws, it looks like, in the double bonus here. So Spurlock will have to come back in. Martin won't be able to come in unless uh, Spur hits that second free throw. I'd say Boyd County would have the choice there, wouldn't they, to go ahead and sub him out to well, get a substitute free injured, throw. If you're yeah, injured. Yeah. I guess they didn't come out yep. to the floor to check on him. So he's he's okay enough to – he can probably shoot these in his sleep, yeah. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Puts the first one in. 33 for him tonight. Underwood in and Chanley out for Greenup County. Spurlock's second free throw is good. Now he'll come out of the game. Now what you're going to see is the coaches start getting in officials' ears to try to get calls for the postseason. <laughs> That's a good point, Greg. Yep. 49 seconds and counting. Casey Gammon brings the ball up the floor for the Musketeers. Gives it to Cohen Underwood. To Eli Atkins on the left side. Atkins' dangerous pass and a little too dangerous there as Alex Martin picks it off. Cole Hicks ahead to Holbrook, 10-footer, good. Good one-hander by Brett Holbrook there. Holbrook's played really well as of late. Eli Atkins for three, right corner, no good. Rebound to Holbrook. He's out of there on the run with it. Good dish down to Alex Martin, goes up, misses the layup. He's having some bad luck underneath the basket tonight, <laughs> Alex <laughs> Martin is. Eli Atkins drives the with paint on the... The baseline there misses. Rebound to – is that Ellis that came up with that rebound? Uh, I, uh, I, I think, think I, it was I, stripped I, of the ball. Okay, okay. As it comes to the other end, some sloppy yeah. play here uh, right now. But uh, 2.8 seconds left here in the third quarter. Boyd County going to inbound to try to get a basket here before the quarter. Smith into Taylor for three. No good. So after three quarters of play, it's a 30-point lead. Boyd County 77, Greenup County 47. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines. 
such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. We're back here at Greenup County High School on My Town TV. I'm Ryan Parker alongside the voice of the Boyd County Lions, Mr. Greg Preston. Boyd County leads this one 77 to 47 over Greenup County. Eight minutes to play. And that was Jason Ellis's 1,000th rebound of his career. Yeah, congratulations to Jason Ellis there. What a career he's had. Played more consecutive games than any Lion and now a 1,000 point rebound. Good night well. for him. Gibson tries the three, no good. Hicks. Gets it out ahead to Drew Smith. He goes up and gets fouled. He'll have free throws. Fouls on Bradley Atkins. So starts over, are they giving him two? They said it was on the floor. On the floor, they say 77-47. I thought it was on the shot myself, but uh, kind of academic of right now. You need to get over <laughs> yeah. both teams. I mean, you know, a loss going in here for Greenup County is not the worst thing. No, not against a, a juggernaut like they're well, seeing, I mean, seeing you tonight. Know, you, you get out of this healthy, it's a win. There's R.J. Veach. He tries it no good. He's into the game for the first time, Greenup County senior. We could see some different faces here in the quarter number four, I would imagine. Drew Smith pops a three. Nine for Drew there, and if you're Boyd County, you know you're wanting to end this thing on an, on an up note here. Spur and Deegan Jones down to the scorer's table now for Boyd County. Yeah, I'm surprised Spurlock going to come back in after you know, busting his tailbone like yeah, that. He, he I'd, I'd go ahead and give him the rest of the night off myself, but, hey, Randy Anderson knows a lot more than me. Ethan Gibson with the basketball out front. Coach A does a good job. He does. Beach, good pass down to Underwood for two. Two points, 6.47 left in this one. Drew Smith bringing it up the floor for the Lions. Right side to Rhett Holbrook. Holbrook, good pass to Ellis, but picked off by Ethan Gibson. Good look, at least, I guess. Good pass. Yeah, nice pass down the floor to Bradley Atkins, who lays it in and gets fouled by Rhett Holbrook. Bradley Atkins will go to the line to try a free throw. He's a 45% foul shooter on the season. So we'll see. Hicks goes out for Boyd County. Jones in. Ellis goes out. Spurlock back in. Underwood is out. And uh, Chantley back in for Greenup County. Bradley Atkins leans forward, puts it in here. Good job by Bradley Atkins. He's a 100% shooter right there. <laughs> 80 to 52. Here, here comes. comes the press. Yeah, now they apply a press here just to maybe practice, work on some things here, I would think. As a foul. Just picked up his fourth. Yep. As I said, Bryson Chandler, he's been something of a foul magnet, and it's paramount that Greenup keep him out of foul trouble in their important district games. Yes. Here's Red Holbrook out front. He'll launch the three. No good. Rebound to the corner. Watch out, Bryson Chanley. <laughs> Potential for a foul over yeah, there. And that's that thing. Long shots lead to long rebounds. Yep. That's Boyd County's ball. Smith inbounds way out back to Red Holbrook. He'll set up the Boyd County offense. Left side to Alex Martin. I was going to say, Martin hadn't pulled the trigger yet tonight. Spurlock rebounds. We see Spurlock underneath the basket this time, rebounding and getting two. Martin called pass on that. <laughs> 36 Chanley. for Spur. Chanley just pulls up and takes the 17-footer. No good. Rebound out, or no, just goes out of bounds. Marcus Lewis in for the first time tonight, Boyd County. As we start to see some new faces here, I'm having... We'll be scrolling down our rosters. Now, I do think Spurs' night will be over with. 30-second timeout, Greenup County here. 
Spur came out in, and as Marcus Lewis came in. Uh, Spurs is going to probably end the night 36, his career high 43, so he's rather close, but, you know, you just want to get out of here healthy. No doubt about it. It's not worth going for a career high here no, tonight. He, no. could, he could easily get it, I would imagine, but uh, not worth it at this point with all the uh, things on the line over the next couple of weeks for Boyd County basketball. And, you know, back in the Johnson Central game, he uh, became the school's fourth all-time leading scorer uh, with, uh, I can't remember how many he had the other night, but he entered wow. tonight with 1,663 points. So that puts him up over, uh, you know, up around 1,700 there, and he's a sophomore. It's, it's awfully impressive numbers being only a sophomore. I would think he would be on pace to become the all-time leading hey, scorer at Boyd he's County. He's got a chance. Who in the world's up there, Greg? Frankly. <laughs> Not to put, oh, okay, frankly. All right. I do remember, frankly. Yep, he's got 2,371. Alex Martin with a tough rebound and the and one this time for Alex Martin. 2,371 for Frank Lee. Yes. Well, he has set a high bar. Dude could play. Two points for Martin. Here's some subs coming into the game now for Greenup County. Number 20, Landry Lewis checking into the game. So Clark Huff in for Boyd County. Martin's free throw is good. Landry Lewis out top for Greenup County with the basketball. Lewis is not shy about putting up the shot immediately in the game. Rebound down to Alex Martin. He gets it ahead to, is that Huff? Who is? Huff and okay. he tried to get it to Lewis. All right. Knocked out of bounds by Greenup County. So Dagan Jones going to inbound for Boyd County. Dagan coming off an injury as well. Five-second call. And, you know, you don't mind that as much. At least you get a chance to set your defense up here. Oh, no doubt about it, yeah. And if you're going to turn the ball over, yep. you want to have dead ball turnovers, not live ball turnovers. Ethan Gibson re uh, goes up strong against Lewis, gets him two points. Assist. The senior for Greenup County. Five minutes left in this one. It's Drew Smith kind of handling the point for Boyd County now. Get over to Jones, and Jones throws an errant pass that Drew Smith runs down in the corner. Smith puts it on the ground, kicks it out front to Huff for three. No good. Rebound down to R.J. Veach. Here comes Greenup County. Gibson finds Chanley ahead. Chanley going to walk with the – nope, they're nope, going to call foul. the foul on Alex Martin. I spoke too soon. Gibson inbounding the ball for Greenup County. Knocked away by Alex Martin. Drew Smith comes up with it. Goes coast to coast. A little dipsy do by Drew Smith. Good play. Getting fouled again by uh, Bryson Chanley. That, that, I, I think I got that as five on him. Uh, I think so. I've kind of lost count of the fouls here. Smith, good on the basket. He's also fouled. He's got one shot. Chanley does come out of the game. It may yeah. be his fourth foul. I don't know. They didn't buzz the buzzer twice, so I, or five times. Sometimes you need to see the buzzer <laughs> buzzed. Make sure he's out of the game. But uh, Drew Smith uh, misses the free throw, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Greenup's ball. Oh, losing my voice. Probably a good thing, my wife says. <laughs> Gammon gives the basketball to Harrington, working on Marcus Lewis That's underneath. Nice yeah, good job. Good left hand by Gavin Harrington underneath there. 87-56, our score. Drew Smith handling the point for Boyd County and handling the scoring as well. As he drives right to the basket and puts it in. Drew he's Smith, got seven another. And a yeah, he's only a sophomore. I mean, this is a player that'll be a big factor for Boyd County for uh, the next uh, two seasons. Yep, it is, and you know, uh, Boyd County just losing two seniors here this year. Uh, that being uh, Jason Ellis and Alex Martin, uh, but those. That's some big shoes to fill. New players into the game for Boyd County. Ethan Rarden, I believe. Is that, I, you'll have to yep. help me if I'm Ethan pronouncing Rairden all these right. Ethan in. Rarden. Carter and, uh, Ross is in. All right. Uh, I 
think that's it for right now. Yeah, that's the two players who checked in for Boyd County. Four minutes left in this one, 89-56. Harrington with the basketball for Greenup. Out to Casey Gammon. Goes to Ethan Gibson, three-pointer from the corner. No good. Rebound down to Ethan Rarden. As he makes his presence known immediately in the game. Foul on Landry Lewis. And it's double bonus. Are you kidding me, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> We don't see the double bonus the entire game, but now we get it now here in four, it quarter in number quarter. four with a 31-point advantage here. Uh, but these players, they got to get some experience out here as well. Yep. That's a 15 foul. Rarden puts it in. So we've been through almost a season now, this new foul change. What do you think of it? I actually like it. You like uh, yeah, it? Yeah, I like it a lot, yeah. I hate the fact that it takes away the pressure of hitting a one and one that's a, that's a good point there. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that late in the game now as a team. You know you got the pressure off. You have the two shots every time. But uh, I don't know, really, to be honest, you, you don't, uh, as you said, a lot's been, if the games have been officiated a little loosely lately, you don't get yeah. to, you don't get to yes. this point very often, it doesn't seem. Harrington throws up a wild one. Well, we're going to get two more free throws coming up. But, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm too old school with that. But <laughs> I like the pressure of the game to have to win a game like that. Mm -hmm. Harrington found on the 10th. He's got two shots from the line. Harrington will take two shots from the line. He's 67% from the foul stripe on the season. First one's off the back iron. No good. And the thing is, does it really speed it up? I know that's the purpose from it, but I don't know that it does that. Yeah, I don't know that it speeds up the game if that's the purpose. Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong here, but this lead is a uh, – I have to do my math here. Harrington misses the second one. If Boyd County gets a basket, it's a running clock the that rest of the correct. way, right? Yeah, 90 to 56, no basket there as Clark Huff makes the turnover. Gavin Harrington comes up with it, gets it up the floor to Veach to Gibson for two. Nice ball movement. Assist Veach. 90 to 58, our score. Huff goes up from three. Good this time. Now the lead is 35, but I believe it's got to hit 36, doesn't it? Uh, no, I think it's at 35. Okay. So we should have a running clock the rest of the way now. Two, two minutes and 50 seconds to go in this one from the greenhouse on the time final out. night of the season. But Coach Corey Allison wants a timeout. He wants a full timeout. So we'll take a break with him here on My Town TV and be right back for the conclusion of this one, 93-58, Boyd County. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramey specifically because Ramey just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramey is excellent. Anytime I need something, I know who to call and I can call him. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. We're back here at Greenup County High School. Boyd County leads this one 93 to 58 with 244 to play. And you know, uh, you're down to the last, like you said, 244 here. And, uh, and, and you know, the, the game is out of hand, but you see Corey Allison still coaching his tail end off over here. And that's, that's the thing that uh, the kids will rally around. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I think he's a very well liked coach here at Greenup County. I think they'll play hard for him come the district tournament this week. Gibson tries to take that one to the hole, and Marcus Lewis swats it out of bounds. And, you know, I heard your all's pregame the other night at West Carter, and he was talking about playing bounds. harder. But anytime I've seen this Greenham County team play, they've always played hard. They do. They, 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 they haven't let down as far as playing hard this year. Bradley Ack is like a nice little pump fake there. Gets him another two points. 93-60 is our score, 210 and running. Out top is Ethan Rarden. Rarden going to take it to the hole and get fouled by R.J. Veach. Veach on the personal foul, his first of the game. Rarden will go to the line for two shots. 
One out of two tonight. Brigham's out on the shot. He's got two from the line. Like that one of three for Bairdon. Don't forget to stick around after the game. Coach Randy Anderson will be coming up yep. to talk to you, Greg, and uh, you know, see what he thinks of this game and see what he thinks of the postseason coming up. Look forward to hearing that conversation. Coach A, you know, talk about a great guy. Mm -hmm. There's a three launched by Hunter Holbrook into the game for Greenup County. Bradley Atkins fighting to the bitter end, as you say here. He only plays one way, 100%, yep. no matter what, what the score is and how much time's left on the clock. He's going to keep playing without a doubt. Came up with the rebound, got fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. So we'll spend our waning seconds here watching free throws on both ends. <laughs> we may end up doing that. 50, well, the clock's still running, 47 seconds left. 94-61, uh, second free throw is no good. Tipped around, Bradley Atkins still trying to go for it. Ball's knocked away, Huff comes up with it. Gives it off to Jones. Jones trying to take it coast to coast, lays it up and in. Good job by Deegan Jones. His first two of the night. Boyd County gonna almost get to 100, not quite. 23 seconds left in this one, 96-61. Score here either way is irrelevant. You're out healthy. Yeah, yeah, that's, you're right. Both teams accomplished what they wanted to do tonight. As Bradley Atkins going to try to add to his point total. Can't get it. RJ Veach rebounds. Tipped away. Tipped away again. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Bradley Atkins, but the clock's going to expire on that one. 96-61. Boyd County wins this one over Greenup County. That's your final. We'll be right back with the stats. Wrap up the postgame show. Hear from Coach Randy Anderson of the Boyd County Lions. We'll be right back here on My Town TV. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care, advice you can trust, advanced technology to understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. Welcome back here to Greenup County High School where the Boyd County Lions have defeated the Greenup County Musketeers by a score of 96 to 61 here in the finale of the season for both teams as they head into district play next week. Both teams the number one seed in their respective districts, Greenup County in the 63rd, Boyd County in the 64th. Let's run down the scoring for both teams tonight. The leading scorer for Greenup County was Bryson Chanley. He had 18 points, all of them in the first half. Bryson Chanley matched his first half total against Russell when he scored 18 and a half in that game earlier this season, but failed to come up uh, with a bucket in the second half. So 18 points for Bryson Chanley, 15 for Bradley Atkins, 11 for Eli Atkins, 6 for Casey Gammon, 
and four apiece for Cohen Underwood, Ethan Gibson, and Gavin Harrington. For Boyd County, it was Jacob Spurlock putting on quite a shooting performance for us tonight. Hitting, let me count them here, let's see, seven threes, I believe, and some of those threes were from downtown range. 36 points overall. Cole Hicks had 11 points, 13 for Drew Smith, 10 for Griffin Taylor. Had a nice game and several good mid-range shots on the night for Griffin Taylor. Rhett Holbrook had eight. Jason Ellis had four and collected enough rebounds tonight to get his 1,000th career rebound. So big congratulations goes out to Jason Ellis for getting his 1,000th career rebound. What an iron man he has been for the Boyd County Lions over the years. Alex Martin had seven. Clark Huff with three. Ethan Rarden pitched in two at the end. And then Deegan Jones had a layup at the end for two. Boyd County 96, Greenup County 61, Greg. Yep, and, and you know, now uh, reset everything. Everybody's now 0-0. Zero and zero. 30 scrimmages for both teams are done and gone on the year. And, and you know, that's why it's important to get those 30 in uh, to try and see, you know, what you can develop with this. And obviously by this time, uh, you know what your team is, is going to look like. Now you're going to go in, find a game plan, and, and see what you can do to grind it out to get to the region. Then once you get to the region, uh, anything can happen. No doubt about it, as we saw last year in the region. Boyd County went in a pretty heavy favorite in the first couple of rounds of the region and turned into some, uh, you know, next thing you know, they're in uh, heated games against yep. East Carter and Lewis County. Yep, uh, could have very easily have lost both of those games and then run into – uh, above Saul and Ashland there in, in the finals. And, um, you know, Spurlock hurt that ball game. Uh, but, uh, you know, you still got to find a way to get it out and win that ball game. But Ashland's won five in a row, and the target's on their back. It is on Ashland's back. There's no question. You win five in a row, it's got to be on your back, right, Greg? Yeah, it's got to be. So uh, Randy Anderson's making his way up here. We'll get a chance to chat with him. Uh, here momentarily, 96-61 is Lions winning here tonight over a very good Greenham County Musketeer Ball Club down here on the road at the Greenhouse. And the Lions will see action again next Thursday against either Fairview or Ashland who play on Tuesday in the uh, semifinal game uh, of the 64th District. And Coach, I guess first of all, uh, congratulations, and, and you got that 30th scrimmage under your belt. <laughs> done. It's done. Boys, it, yep. it's long, but it goes fast. Yes. And that sounds crazy unless you've been in this business, and especially it kind of drags sometimes through the holiday season, but uh -huh. it seems like once you get back and you start getting into just uh, local play every now and then you have a, a shootout or something like that, it just really flies. And so uh, felt like we had good intensity coming out tonight and uh, felt like we was very focused on the defensive end. And so uh, we've got uh, got a couple of days of rest and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because of the bye and then uh, whoever we have yep, on Thursday. Whoever you have on Thursday. And, and, you know, tonight you got off to a good start. And, and uh, the main thing is uh, here in this last game, you get, you get out of here healthy. That's, that's key. Uh, scared us to death, boys, yep. when, when Spur, Spur went, went down, down there, you know. But uh, once again, I, I I am a very privileged guy. I got great coaches. I feel like they're the best in the state. Do a really good job of teaching, coaching, and preparing. And uh, I couldn't ask for better kids. Uh, God's really blessed me. And, and you know, uh, Ellis tonight too hit that 1,000th uh, rebound. Yes, we have talked about that, and and no no discredit to Hargett at Fleming, but uh, my choice, 16th region best player, not is, with you. Uh, you know, Jason Ellis. I mean, he has just been a man for for four or five years now. And uh, he just, every day he brings it. You've heard me say that before. Um, he's going to go down as one of, the, one of the better players that ever played at yes. Boyd. Uh, All-time leading shot blocker. Now he's got 1,000 rebounds. Well, 130 he's, consecutive games tonight, too. Yes. Sets that record. Yes, and so. Uh, once again, no, no discredit to Hargett Fleming, nice player, but in, in, in my mind, and I know our guy's mind, uh, he, is, he is just proven that he is, he's, he's a player. Yep, and, and, you know, tonight here towards the end, you get a chance to, to rest your guys a little bit more and get some other guys in, and, and it's always good when you're able to do that because this is a very good Greenham County ball club. Yeah, and I was really proud of our JV bunch early. Um, you know, he was a little shorthanded. We're going to have five tonight. 
because we had a bunch of them down at KPC playing in the eighth grade state tournament. Right. Um, but just those guys just continue to get better. And, and the reason I think that, that we've had such a successful year is because those guys have worked hard every day to get better. And uh, you have to have that in practice. You know, you have to have uh, uh, people that's willing to, to bang and, and willing to learn to try to cut the drive lines and, and offensively get in gaps. And so um, really, really happy for those guys tonight. Just a good win, just five yes. of them. Uh, but it's good to be able to give them some time late uh, in the game as well. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, you take a look ahead to the postseason here, and obviously you've already punched your ticket to, to go play in the 16th region tournament uh, down in Moorhead. Uh, but, you know, uh, you, you still don't uh, know for sure who you're going to play to get there, so how do you prepare for that? Um, well, once again, uh, you've, you've heard me say this a thousand times. I don't mean to be a parrot or a repeat person, but um, – uh, the main the main team that we have to take care of is 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 the, is the Lions, and um, we're going to continue to do that consistently. Do that. We're going to watch film, and uh, as it as the draw unfolds, uh, then then we'll go a little yep. bit more serious, you know, and, yep. and do some opponent scout and, and that type of game prep, prep, preparation. But uh, it, it's mainly us, like you said, staying healthy. Uh, getting up a bunch of shots, making sure our legs are where they're supposed to be. Um, and then it's getting down to one game at a time. Yep, and, and you know, I don't have the percentages on this, uh, but shot the ball well tonight. Really? Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, I, you know, I, as you go back through, especially the last 10, 12 games, and, and you look at team assist, uh, it, it speaks highly of our kids uh, willing to – First of all, have an IQ where the next pass is, but willing to give that thing yes. uh, to an open shooter. And then uh, it also allows us to get second and third shots. You know, I think Griff has, has really, really came on as a point guard and has done a tremendous job. And got sick going to Sarah about a week ago or whatever, but he, he seems to be back full strength. Uh, Cole is just Cole. Cole's steady. Uh, it was good to have Drew Smith back on the floor tonight. He'd been sick, really sick boy for – three or four days and his throat still just a little bit sore but for him to be able to get his feet set uh that's really good Rhett has just been Mr. Energy yep and uh he, he's doing so many things that uh doesn't show up in the stat sheet and uh, he kind of keeps our guys loose but uh he's another one that's going to continue to play hard Amar you know just athletic and uh he, he's getting more and more aggressive on the boards which is it's that's really going to play big dividends down right down postseason Coach, I appreciate your time, and uh, I guess we'll talk again on Thursday, 7 o'clock tip-off this time, right? Yes, sir. Against either Ashland or Fairview. We'll see who the winner of that is on Tuesday. Yes, sir. And uh, I haven't had a chance to check the girls' score uh, with, with Rowan County there. I'd like to uh, see if I can get that before we go off the air here tonight. But uh, congratulations to you and your Lions on uh, 24 regular season wins this year. A great, great year. And I'll tell you what. Defensively, as the year has gone along, you've gotten better. I know here, you know, towards the end, uh, um, you know, we gave up a few buckets down here that, that we didn't contest. Uh, but really, uh, defensively, we've gotten better all year. I agree with that, you know, and, and you're going to have a few wrinkles that, that um, you know, we have kind of been preparing for here the last month. And uh, hopefully, you know, with these three or four days of prep before Thursday night game uh, just gives us more – more time to work on those. Yes. I'd, I'd really like to say hello to my mom, a shout-out. She's been sick. Mom's 86, but she's probably the most loyal listener, mm -hmm. uh, along with my wife, that there is. And so, uh, Mama, keep getting better, and I know you're listening. So, anyway, we love you. Thank you. Coach, appreciate your time. We'll talk to you Thursday uh, from Summit. All righty. Thank you, brother. That's Boy County Head Coach Randy Anderson. His Lions win here tonight over Greenup County, a final score of 96-61. to 61. Special thanks to everyone here in the broadcast uh, for, that's been involved in getting things taken care of us. Uh, you know, they do all the work, and uh, we just get to come here and sit and talk. And for Ryan Parker, I'm Greg Preston. Good night and God bless. You may never make it to the big race or hear the crowd go wild, but that doesn't mean that you're not an everyday athlete. You've mastered the toddler scramble cornered the clean lift and crossed the line in the sprint. At King's Daughters, we keep you in the race with world-class orthopedics care, backed by our team of experts, so you can make the big play when it counts the most. 
When you're in the game, have a great team behind you. Orthopedics at UK King's Daughters. Trust is something earned, not given. For over 90 years, KFB has built trust in your community. We believe our neighborhood is our responsibility. Through our quality service, innovative products, and local decision making, we are committed to your financial success. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net.